Mr. Dennis Lee. He and his wife Colleen are amazing and they're such a foundational part of this house and I cherish them. So I'm really pleased and proud to introduce them. Father's heart. Yes. 
He has put his heart in us. Come on. And it's it's the heart of the child. It's I call it being born in spirit. When you're born in spirit, you don't know everything. And you know it. You know that there's so many things that Holy Spirit will share with you that's so far beyond you. That he will equip you and, and give you the the ability to do things far beyond anything you could dream on your own. Amen. <laughs> Being poor in spirit means, Lord, I've never seen it done like that before, but if it's you, I want it. To be led by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Father. So, my number one value in my life is to spend, to value His presence more than anything on earth and in my life. I've heard the Lord many times say, Come away with me, son. Just come away. Do you know that the Father wants to spend time with you more than you want to spend with Him? He longs for us. His heart longs for us to spend time with Him. There is in the human spirit a hunger to be in a place, a secretive place, where there's peace and there's security and there's safety. But so many times, we go to that place, but then we leave. We visit it. I believe the secret place is a place to be lived from. Yes. That we never leave yes. the secret place. Yes. Another place that I, I look in and ask, where is the alignment in my life? And, <clears throat> And, and it, I have to check my love. And I, I read the First Corinthians 13. I've read it over and over and over. It's a good, good way to check your love. But that's where the Father's heart starts with love. His love for his children. His delight in his children. And then we go and we delight in seeing other people experience all their stories. Yes. I'd just like to talk a little bit more about the affections of our heart. When we go through life and, and some of us, you know, we, we've had a hard upbringing and there's things that uh, are broken in us. And the Lord wants to bring those things to light, yeah. not yeah. to condemn us, yeah. but to heal us. Yes. Amen. And the affections of our heart sometimes will run to a place we run our whole life. Mm -hmm. and, and we know it's not right, and we know it's not the place to go, but we go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants to become everything to us. Yeah. He wants to become a father like we've never known. He wants to impart his heart to us that when when the storms are raging, that we're at peace. Amen. Amen. And a heart that is aligned, aligned with heaven is there's no greater rest. Amen. You trust him. Yeah. No matter what, you trust him. Yes. There's nothing that can happen in my life that I don't trust my father to take care of. My wife and I have been in the process of trying to get building permits going and, and stuff for our house. And it's, it's been a little frustrating for us. And I felt the Father just come one day and just settle over me and give me such peace and rest about it. It's like I don't understand what's going on right now, Lord, but I know that you are working behind the scenes in the mighty God. And I rest in that. I rest in his heart. In Proverbs 3, uh, 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. That sounds like alignment. He wants to be a part of everything we do in our life. He wants to be with us every moment and to acknowledge him. Not just to, to go through life and not acknowledge him, but to acknowledge, Lord, I need your help in this. So many times in my carpenter career, I'll face a problem and I, I can't figure it out. And I'll say, Holy Spirit, how do I do this? And it ain't five minutes and I, I figured out how to do it. Over and over. He's a master carpenter. I found out that. He knows everything about everything. That's right. I'm so undone by that. He delights in his children so much. Yes, he does. He delights in you. He longs to be with you. And so, I just believe that the Lord wants me to uh, impart what he's done in me. Yeah. Yeah. To impart that to other people. Yes. So, I just feel like the Lord wants me to impart his heart. Father's heart. There's so many people in, in, in life that they've had an orphan heart most of their life. They, mm. they haven't been loved in their right. growing up. That's right. And right now, I just impart Father's heart to you. That yes. you will begin to experience Father like you've never known in your life. Hallelujah. That he will come around you and be 